things in Jesus' name. It is second day of January 2021. I believe that uh, you already uh, started to keep the journal and also you have subscribed the channel and click the bell icon. If not, I just want to remind you uh, to do so. Yesterday we just discussed about our ways and his ways and in order to receive the abundance of blessings we just discussed we need to turn from our ways into his ways. So let's continue. Today we are going to talk why it is so important. Do we really need why? And also the urgency of turning from our ways to his way. So if you have the Bible with you, turn into book of four, uh, book of Proverbs and chapter 14 verse 12. It says, there's a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the ways of death. What does that mean? There's a way that seems right to a man. Just we know that uh, if we think back about the last year, many people had different, different ways of income. For example, if we did a nine to five job, did we really uh, do our job and uh, were we reasonable for the company or our employers? Or we just ignore the uh, responsibility, but at the end of the month, we collect the paycheck. If we are uh, employers, did we give the benefits and did we do our best for our employees because those were the people who worked for the company and those were the reason for the profits and uh, all the benefits that we received did we do that um, and also if we did some um, online uh, business and all did we really reasonable or justice and uh, if you think of the family, the husband, was the husband trustworthy to the wife or vice versa? Or, or out of the family, did they have different relationships? And um, maybe what about the parents and children? Maybe our parents were not that educated. They didn't look good as we thought. But still, did we honor them? Did we honor our mother and father? Or we just ignored them? Or we, did we um, hurt their feelings? Those things. But if those people, if, if the people who did all these things, walking on these wrong paths, we see that they prosper. Yes, when we look at them, in outer appearance, the clothes that they were wearing and the vehicles that they used and also the uh, bank balance and also their houses just like mansions yes we it seems like right that's why it says here it seems like right to a man but but the bible says but at the end the end is the way of death so what is the word? What if we can give one word for everything that I mentioned before? Lying, uh, stealing, um, unrighteous businesses, disrespecting parents. So for all these things, what is the one word? If we summarize everything, it is sin. S-I-N. Yes. So the Bible says, the wages of sin is death. No matter how big it is, how small it is, big, extra large, extra small, no matter. Sin is sin and the wages of sin is death. So that is exactly the reason, exactly why we need to turn from this sinful ways into righteous way of God. The same thing here it says, that is why its end is the way of death. So no one want to go to the way of death because no one want to die at the end. There are two ways, there are two places that everyone can go. Either life or death. So if we want to go to life everlasting, we definitely need to change our ways 
from all these wicked ways into his righteousness, his, into his holiness, into his goodness, as we mentioned yesterday. And if not, it will be miserable at the end. Maybe they will prosper. It seems like prospering, but at the end of the at the end, it will be miserable. Because the way, its end is the way of death. So I would like to encourage all of us, including me, all of us need to change our wicked ways into his righteous way. Not our own goodness, but into his paths of goodness. So this is the urgency of changing our lives. It's not too, not yet, uh, not late yet, because today is just the second day of the year. We have long way to go. So can we make this right choice today? This decision changes our life. So subscribe the channel if you haven't done it yet. And keep the journal and let's practice. Make decisions. And if you have any challenges, questions, comment underneath. We'll see how can we guide you furthermore. And see you tomorrow. Until then, have a blessed day.